Hey there everybody, David here at Scale Models Midwest. Welcome back to the workbench. Glad to have you with us. Um, just give you a quick little update before I go out and start working on some stuff for the day. I actually am off for the next week, so hopefully my plan is to have daily video updates to kind of get caught back up and get back into the swing of things. The past couple weeks have been uh, busy. Two weeks ago I just took a week off to focus on some other projects get some things taken care of around the house. Then I came back to the workbench, had two days where I started working on some things, and then with a week to go before going on vacation, which starts today, I just got really tied down with some work and just wanted to make sure that was taken care of. So the workbench kind of got pushed up to the side, and now I'm back. So again, I'm gonna try and get daily updates for you while I'm on vacation, but let's show you what I got for today. First of all, uh, Clay Kemp did a really cool how-to on building this engine. I think he did his for a Sportsman class Dodge Charger. I went on ahead and did the exact same thing because if you use any kind of aftermarket distributor, you're going to have to use some kind of plastic rod or whatever to extend these tubes that go into the top of the Hemi valve covers. I did just that. I still have to do some cleanup and then I will get those uh, with a Molotov pen for detail or I'll just paint it black and then put the chrome breather caps on top and call that done. I have it in the engine bay right now just kind of test fitting to make sure that the uh, ignition wires and all are okay. I got a handmade coil down at the bottom and uh, I'm going to test fit the radiator and everything. I'm not going to do an awful lot of engine detail on this. Um, I am going to put in some uh, radiator hoses and whatnot using some of Jim Rogers' excellent 3D printed items here. I still plan on using um, a, a rear differential puller and some wiring in the back. Um, as you can see, I've got some of the spark plug wire that I had cut. I'm going to kind of cut some holes into the little uh, electronics plate that comes in the kit. Try and wire that up. That'll be some detail there. That's kind of liven up an otherwise very dark interior. I'm going to do some detailing with weathering pastels just like Clay Kemp did on his. Just kind of set off some of that. I do have the seat in place and of course once I get the rear roll hoop in place I can get those wrapped around and uh, glued in using some CA glue. The shifter I do have in place as well. I did go with the uh, shifter ball. I think I have to, I'm actually going to probably pull that shifter ball off and re-glue it. But I did use a photo etch shifter. I used the photo etch shifter plate and then the kit boot that I'll be painting black. And then in the back, um, Wayne Stevens really showed this off in the uh, April issue of the uh, model cars magazine from last year where the rear definitely has uh, some open space and looks like about an eighth maybe a little bit more than an eighth of an inch on both sides but it'll go up to about the middle part of the wheel well so I'll be cutting some plastic for that as you see I already have some plastic cut for the back and I got that measured and it came out really good once that's all in place I'll putty, sand it smooth, and then repaint it. I think ultimately where I'm going to put more of my detail will be in the interior and then the back because I really would like to have a clear overflow tube and a clear tube going into the gas tank. I thought I had a kit piece from one of my old AMT Ford NASCARs uh, that I could actually kind of cut fit, but can't find it, so I'm just going to kind of scratch build it and nothing wrong with that so really that's that's all I've got for today um, got a couple of pictures that some viewers have sent to me I'm gonna post those here with this video so uh, yeah stay tuned I'm finally back at the workbench and at least for the next week hopefully daily updates and uh, let's have some fun I want to get this going I think time machine models has a, a group build coming out I'm gonna check them out and see what that is Maybe I can build a kit in the background in the meantime. Uh, but, uh, yeah. 
I'll just see you in the next video. Take care. So Chris Turkop sent me a couple pictures of a Mustang Cobra he did recently. And uh, if you remember the 1996 mystic color that kind of flip-flopped from green to purple and blue and what have you, and gold, this is it. I remember it was an expensive paint color, but uh, man, it looks nice. Great job, Chris. So Terry sent me some pictures as well of some builds that he did. This V-Dub I especially like. The hood treatment that he did with the mesh showing off the engine bay as well as that really sharp color. I love it. This race car hauler is completely scratch built, he said. I love the fact that he used a 50s Chevy cab for this. Looks fantastic. The Camaro on the back, here's another view of it, all fired up. Yeah, this thing looks hot. Love the gold metallic style paint color. Um, and then finally, this here in front of the race car hauler is of a Turbo V10 motorcycle. He completely scratch built with the exception of the tires. I think that this just shows excellent craftsmanship, both from Chris and from Terry. Um, just shows all different types of modeling styles and skills. So I just wanted to kind of let you know out there, be inspired by others to build better kits. That's what I'm doing, watching people like Clay Kemp and uh, Wayne Stevens and Chris and Terry as well. So again, thanks guys. If you want to have pictures shown on this YouTube channel, please email me the pictures. My email is in the description. I'm more than happy to show them off and share them with everybody else. And hopefully, like my channel, you'll inspire others to pick up the plastic, pick up the glue, and start building. Catch you in the next video.